Tonight, a major emergency response in Delaware County. The council is taking action after Crozier Health announced it's shutting down more services. Hi, Winna News anchor Siafa Lewis is live in media with the details. Siafa? Hey, good evening, Jessica. The Delaware County Council unanimously approved an emergency ordinance aimed at ensuring that medical providers do not leave residents in their communities high and dry. We should not overstate what this emergency ordinance is. All this is, is giving the county and the hospital system time and planning. In the last six months alone, four hospital health system, Crozier Health, has closed vital medical units either permanently or temporarily in the county. And last week, Crozier sent seven communities letters stating that their emergency services would be shut down in 90 days unless those communities negotiated to pay Crozier by this Friday. It is not an exaggeration to say that Delaware County is facing an emergency here. Those on the council voting on the measure did not mince their words. The idea of a for profit provider using a short time frame of change that would have such a significant impact on our population as a means of extracting further recompense is something we cannot accept. Ten days is not a lot of time, especially with municipalities that have already set their tax rates for the year and certainly weren't budgeting on having to support an ambulance. But also present was Crozier President and CEO Kevin Spiegel, who explained that the company was $20 million upside down and facing increased staffing costs and medical supply costs. All we really went to them to talk about is that we need funding. This emergency ordinance now requires notice of intent to close or suspend services 180 days in advance, along with a closure plan sent to the health department 120 days in advance. Meanwhile, back in February, Wilmington based Christiana Care signed a letter of intent to acquire Crozier. There's no word on the status of that potential sale. In media, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Siafa, thank you for that.